and I'm going to break down everything that you need to know if you're just starting to learn about Amazon FBA. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name is Pat Harris and I'm a full-time Amazon seller. On my channel, I share tips that help with my own Amazon business so I can help others out. I also like to share other videos related to the stock market, the economy, anything to do with making money online. I like to try out the different models and see if they actually work. So if you like this type of content, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can stay updated with my new videos every week. And just for doing that, I'm doing a giveaway at the end of every month where you have a chance to win my Amazon FBA course, which is a complete course that covers the whole process of selling on Amazon. If you already have my course, it's gonna be a $100 prize, so keep an eye out for that, but let's get into it. So if you are just starting to learn about Amazon FBA, you've probably gone on YouTube and different FBA Facebook communities, and there's a lot of confusing information. Some people say you need $20,000 to start, or they say don't do this business model or sell in this country. And I'm gonna break down everything that you need to know if you're just starting to learn about Amazon FBA. I was in your shoes in the beginning so I've learned a lot along my journey. I've been doing it for over a year and now I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller and I run a community of over 2,000 FBA students and FBA sellers. So if you want to join my community you could check that out down below and join for free and I'll approve your request. But enough of this boring talk let's actually get into it right now and break everything down step by step. All right guys so we're going to get into it. Before we do though if you want to get an Amazon FBA course this is my recommendation. So I'm kind of biased because I have my own Amazon FBA course but it's it's a lot different than all the other ones out there because I don't charge tons of money. It's under $100 and covers more information than most of those two to $10,000 courses. So always think about that when you are buying a course. I recommend buying either my course or get a course that is really cheap so you can learn the whole process without spending a ton of money. If you are limiting risk and mistakes and you're learning from someone who's actually selling on Amazon. I also recommend Helium 10, which is what I use for all of my Amazon product and keyword research as well as many other things. And they offer their own course that comes with the software. I have a discount code down below for 50% off if you want to check that out. But don't waste tons of money before you even start the whole process because you will be in the hole before you even start and you're going to realize you'll need that money for your inventory and different business expenses. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the actual step-by-step -step process. Step number one, which business model are you going to go after? So there's Amazon FBA private label, which is what I do. I get my own products from China. I put my brand and logo on those products. Products. I create my own listing and pictures and I put them on Amazon and this is the best business model in my opinion I've tried the other business model which is online arbitrage or retail arbitrage where you buy branded products from different stores at discounts and then you resell them on Amazon but you run into a lot of issues like the products will be gated so you can't sell them or Amazon will ask you for an invoice so you have to get that from the actual manufacturer and there's a lot of different things that you have to do when you do that business model I tried it for a week and that is when I I decided to go with Amazon FBA private label and I've loved it ever since. I'm doing it full time. So that is just my opinion. And then the other business model is Amazon FBA wholesale where you buy products at a cheaper price from big brands like Mattel or any big toy company and you get their permission. You have to establish a relationship and then you resell them on Amazon. I've never done that business model so I don't really know how it all works. But those are the three different types of business models and if you want to go with the Amazon FBA private label then this is your next step. So step number two is make sure that you could actually sell on Amazon. I could type this out right here on Google. Most countries are able to sell on Amazon, but there are a few that are not like um, Iran, um, Nigeria. There's a couple others out there, but make sure that you could actually sell on Amazon before you start doing all of the work. And then once you see that you can sell on Amazon, you're going to go with the Amazon FBA private label business model. Now you have to decide if you want to get a trademark or an LLC. Now to sell on Amazon, you don't need either of these, but I recommend getting a trademark mainly because people go on on Amazon and they hijack your listing, meaning they get on your listing and they hit sell a similar product and then you don't have any protection against your brand if you don't have a trademark. So I recommend getting one, but you don't have to get one right from the start. And then if you want to get an LLC for business purposes, for tax purposes, then you could also get one of those, but you don't have to get it right from the start. I did, but you don't have to. So you could always add these later once you find a product and realize that you are selling well on Amazon and you want to continue for the long term. You could always do it later down the road. Now, now, 
the fourth step is set up your Amazon FBA seller account and make sure that it's approved before you actually start finding a product because there's a lot of weird reasons that Amazon will suspend an account for no reason. They'll look at your paperwork, say that it's not enough, and they're gonna request different documentation depending on which country you live in. So make sure that your account is set up and you are able to sell before you actually start doing all of the product research. And then you're gonna start as a professional seller, but you're gonna be getting charged $39.99 a month. But I would recommend you could downgrade your account to an individual, which will be a free account until you actually find your product and set up the shipping plan. And then you're gonna upgrade your account to the professional plan so you could have more storage and a lot of other features. So I recommend setting up your account before you even start doing your product research because why do your research if you can't even sell on Amazon? Think about that. All right, now step number five is the most important and it's gonna take you the longest time. So it's product and keyword research. You have to find a good product to sell on Amazon. I see it time and time again. People sell what they like and they didn't do the product research. They launch a product and then they end up losing thousands of dollars because they didn't know how to do the proper product and keyword research. This is why you see a lot of companies out there saying that they offer product ideas that will do 30 or $100,000 a month. And a lot of those companies prey on the people that are lazy or give up and they are bad products and then you still end up losing tons of money. So I actually have a product validation service which you could check out down below in the link and I also offer mentorship where I do product analysis for the students um, but you want to make sure that you do the proper product and keyword research and it's a good product to sell before you launch it on Amazon because that's going to determine how much money you make and it's going to take a while to find a good product you got to remember there's tons of people out there searching for these products so it's going to take time you have to think outside the box get creative try different product research methods I have a lot of different methods in my other videos and in my course so check those out and then once you find that product you have to check all of the numbers and make sure that you're going to make a profit why sell a product on amazon if you're not going to make any money so you have to use the amazon fba fee calculator you have to look at all the different fees that you're going to get charged when you sell on amazon and that's step number six so you want to make sure that you have at least a 20 to 30 percent profit margin after all the fees the higher the better so just keep that in mind and then once you find that you are going to do amazon fba private label you found your product it's going to have a big profit margin now you have to go out there and actually look for the supplier so most people will go on Alibaba and they'll find a supplier but you have to make sure that it's a legit supplier there's a couple things to look out for I have another video on finding suppliers and getting shipping from China to Amazon and there's a lot of different shipping methods I always say DDP which means they ship your products directly from China to Amazon with no additional fees you don't need a middleman or you could get a freight forwarder but again I have other videos on that and then once you find that supplier that you want to go with that's gonna lead into step number eight which is get a sample from that supplier you always want to get a sample in most cases because you want to see the quality of the product and I recommend getting your brand name and logo printed on that sample because when you set up your listing Amazon requires to see a picture of that product with the brand on the packaging or the product itself so that's a good idea to get your product printed on the sample even if you're not going to get it printed on all the other items you want to have it on that sample because you're going to have to submit that picture when you create your listing on Amazon or you're going to get a brand air message 5665 where the they're gonna say they need to see that brand name on your product so get the sample with your brand name printed on it so you could use it for that proof of your brand and once you decide that you like the sample the quality is great that's gonna lead into step number nine which is when you place your order now I always recommend start small because you don't know how well it's gonna sell until you launch it helium 10 gives you a good idea an estimated idea but you don't know until you launch it so you don't want to order 5,000 units and find out that it doesn't sell well and then you're getting a ton of fees in Amazon store storage fees. So I always say start out with about 200 to 500 units depending on what it is. And then you could always order more if you run out of stock. It's better to run out of stock than to have way too much inventory because you'll end up paying way more in fees on that inventory that doesn't sell. And you're going to have a ton of inventory in your house if it doesn't sell. So always order less and then you could order more when it comes down to it. And then after you place that order, you're going to pay 30% up front. You're going to use Alibaba Trade Assurance, which is an insurance on your payment. You could always get that money back if you pay with a credit card and then once you place that order you're going to start to create your optimized listing now this is very important this is where you put all of your keywords that you got from your keyword research you want to have great pictures so a customer is going to want to click on your listing if you don't have anything right like a picture looks bad or you don't have the keywords in your listing then that is going to limit you on sales no one's going to want to buy your product and you're going to miss out on a ton of sales i have another video on optimizing your listing if you want to check that out but that is what you're going to be doing while your manufacturer is creating the product 
products. And while you create your listing, you're going to have to get UPC barcodes or apply for a G10 exemption, which is the barcode that goes on the products, also known as an FN SKU once you get your UPC codes. I have a video on that, so I'm not going to get too detailed on that, but check out my other video on UPC codes. But that is the barcode that you need. And then after you have all of that set up, you're going to get all of the information from your supplier, like how many cartons, how many units are in each carton, the weight of the carton that all the units are in before they ship them. And then you're going to enter all of this information into your shipping plan, which is in your seller central account. And it's basically a detailed plan which shows Amazon how many units are coming to Amazon, the size, the weight. So they have an idea of what to expect before it arrives to their warehouse. And it gives you an idea of all of your fees that you're going to end up paying. So you want to get all that information and then you have to send your supplier over the FN SKU and the carton labels. The FN SKU is the barcode sticker that goes onto each unit. It's the fulfillment network SKU. Amazon scans that in so you can track your inventory from the seller app, but you want to send those out to your supplier before they ship the products. They'll usually tell you when to send them over and then they also need the carton labels, which is a label that's going to go on each carton before they send it over. It's going to say how many units are in each carton and they have to stick those onto the boxes of all your units. And then once you send them over, they are going to ship your product depending on if you have a freight forwarder or your supplier ships them for you. And then this is where you're going to just work on your listing, create PPC campaigns, not on Amazon, but off of Amazon. Think about all of your keyword strategies, who you're going to target in ads, if you're going to get micro influencers on Instagram. I have more videos on these topics than my other videos on YouTube, so you can check those out. But this is where you're going to prepare for your launch, have all of your strategies ready, and you're going to get ready to go. You're going to have your listing completely set up. Everything's going to look great. And then once they arrive to Amazon, it's going to take a little time for them to scan everything in, depending on what time of year it is. But once they get scanned in, you're going to see your listing go live. And that's when you're going to start to launch your PPC campaigns. Now, a lot of people out there say that you can't run PPC until you have a lot of reviews, but that is not the truth. But I have another video on that about my PPC launch with no reviews. You could get good sales with no reviews. I've done it. Many of the students have done it. So don't listen to the people that say not to. But I recommend launching your PPC campaigns right from the start. And then you're also going to target your influencers, plan out your giveaways if you're going to give away any products for a refund. And you're going to do all of that after you launch your product that goes live and you are in the game. Now, this is also known as the honeymoon period. People say that the algorithm favors new sellers for the first two weeks. Um, so they get more sales and they could get ranked quicker. So this is a good time to get your product ranked, which is why you want to run PPC and do all your giveaways, get all your micro influencers to promote the products. And that is how you're going to get ranked the quickest and get the most sales right from the start. And then you could also look at the early reviewer program, which is Amazon's review program. And that is how you could get your initial reviews. And then there's a lot of other things you could do like ads on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, a ton of different things you could do. But again, it's up to you on your budget and how you want to launch your product. And then after a couple weeks of running your PPC campaigns, you're going to want to go in there and start optimizing your PPC campaigns, see what customers are typing in to buy your product. You're going to look at the clicks, the ACoS, which is your advertising cost of sales. I know it seems really broad, but that is the basic part of optimizing your campaigns. You're going to download the reports. You're going to set up different campaigns and see what's working. And then you're going to continue to optimize your PPC campaigns throughout the process. With my mentorship program, I do two PPC campaign videos where I'm going to go in, I'm going to show you which keywords to target, how to fix certain things, adjust bids and do all of that good stuff. And then Helium 10 has a PPC automation tool called ads, which will help you adjust your bids and do all of that work for you. So it's a lot easier. But again, I'm getting off topic. And then that is basically it. You're going to want to monitor your PPC campaigns, continue to adjust anything that's wrong with your listing. If you're not getting clicks, you're going to want to make sure that your listing is optimized and your index for certain keywords, which means when a customer types in a keyword, your listing is going to pop up and they can buy your product. But that is an overall step by step process from beginning to end. I know it probably seems pretty confusing at first because like when I started out, I was really confused on how the whole shipping went. Um, but that is why I do offer a course for $100 if you want to check it out or check out Helium 10's freedom ticket course. And don't spend tons of money on a course because you're probably overspending and you're getting taught from someone who has never sold on Amazon and you're paying thousands of dollars when you're going to need that money for your inventory for PPC and a ton of other things. All right. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Follow my FBA Facebook community, which is completely free. You can look at the link down below and check out all my other services if you need help with your own Amazon FBA business. But that is it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.